so are we finally going to be free of this dark prison. I thought you liked the dark. I like the dark, but I hate being trapped. I am going to kill Kaze once we escape. Of course she didn't. She complains about nobody acknowledging her. Oh yeah, our birthday. Well, at least they acknowledge her existence. This wasn't meant to happen, Ame. It was a glitch and you know it. Why should I believe you? You were so spaced out and surprised to even remember me. Unlike Kaze. Don't take it out on Kaze. I'm sure if she knew we were trapped within her, she would try to save us. And you can not spacey. Shut it, Tayo. Ame, I'm with you. Together, you and I will destroy Kaze. Even if those two whips refuse to join us. Thank you, Arashi. I hope one day I can finally see the voice who's comforted me over all these years. in your head. How could you not hear that? There was this majestic voice coming from that big blue portal in the sky, remember? I remember the portal. I do not recall a voice radiating from said portal. As I said before, you and Aunt Luna are both crazy, and me and Spade are both the same. When will you stop calling our dad by his first name? When he tells me to stop, which will be never. Hey you two, what's going on today? Well, let's see. My sister is hearing a voice in the sky. She claims to have four other wolves trapped in her soul. She thinks her mom is still alive. And she thinks I'm the weird one here. Oh yeah, she's calling herself Kaze now, apparently. Kaze? I finally have my own identity now instead of having to share a name with my stupid brother. Besides, Kaze sounds so cool. Yeah, I'm happy about that too. I was tired of sharing a name with you too. And you're not cool enough to pull off an awesome name like Skylar. And you are? Hey! Kaze, what's with the raincoat? I thought you had high rain tolerance. I do, but Dad is being overprotective. I'm about to go to the store, and the forecast says we're due for heavy rain, so he made me take a raincoat. And I am immune to lightning, and he's afraid I'll be hurt by a few measly drops of water. You're immune to lightning? Did, did, did I hear that right? Um, yeah. Hey, Kaze, don't you have to go somewhere? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, sorry, Kairu. I have to go to the store now. Uh, bye! Catch you later! Kaze? Yeah, apparently her name is Kaze now. That name is so... awesome. Are you alright, Spade? She hears it too. Kaze... hears it too. I know. She told me. They both told me. Skylar's gonna start hearing it too, and then I'll be the one left in the dark. She will return. She made a promise to all of us. She will be back. I wish I could believe that. Buying some presents for my stupid brother, and buying some for myself, cause no one will probably get me any. Aunt Luna promised she would, but I seriously doubt it. I was excited at first, but then I got cynical. 
I don't know what I should do. I can't believe she's such a show, mooching off of my impressive storm tolerance powers and using them to impress her stupid crush. What's she gonna do next? Stand on top of a tall building and let yourself be struck by lightning? I know! I should impress Kairu later by standing on top of Sky Tower during today's thunderstorm. For it, if I had a physical form, I would totally be face coming right now. And she calls her brother to show off. I hope my physical form is cute! I'm shutting down. Arashi! I am doing it. Kazu is not using my powers anymore. Arashi! I thought we were going to escape together! Arashi? Why does Kaze want us to meet her at Sky Tower? I have no idea. She sounded extremely rushed on the phone. Can you guys see her? Nope. Skyla! Jeez, man, you don't see yellow right here. She answers to Kaze now. Oh, right. Kaze! and then dye her hair to match her future girlfriend? Dork! Who are you calling Dork, punk? Are you okay? Best I ever felt. Oh, uh, K Kaze, your, your fur is purple. Uh, Kaze, you could have been killed! Let me get something clear. I am not Kaze. My name is Arashi. I have been trapped in Kaze's stupid soul for close to 15 years. And now I'm free. My three friends are still trapped, but now they're trapped inside me. If this is a prank, I'm not buying it. No, this is not a prank. Skepticism typical of you, Skyler Wolf. What have you done with Kaze? I feel her spirit trapped within me too. Now maybe she'll understand what it feels like watching my life go by while forced to do nothing and let me use her superpowers. Kaze has superpowers? <laughs> of course! You're all impressed with your precious little Kaze and her amazing superpowers! Was it not you, Kairu Cat, who was mesmerized by Kaze's ability to survive lightning? Guess what, Flusterball? That's my superpower! Will Kaze ever escape the <laughs> You're all scared of your precious little Kaze! Kaze's been trapped for one minute! Oh, heavens no! Save our precious Kaze! Arashi's been trapped for almost 15 years! and finally escapes, what have you done to our Kaze? I'm sorry! We're sorry, Arashi. Is there anything we can do? I would say, find a way to free my best friend, Ame. But none of you can, can you? Well, we'll try! <laughs> How adorable. Good luck with you on trying. This weather's scaring me. I'm going home. I I'm sorry. I'll free Ame once the storm comes up. Maybe the storm won't come. But she'll live, trapped here with us. Why doesn't Arashi understand that it's not Kaze's fault? Because Arashi isn't so naive to believe the lies of innocence told by Kaze. Unlike Snowy McSpace Dowd and Sunny McStupid. Who? This is no one's fault, okay, Ame? Whatever, Snowball. We're under Arashi's control now. We have to do something. Kaze. Don't worry, Kairu, we'll save her. I promise. And I can tell Arashi's in pain. We have to help her, too. And Arashi said there were three others. Skylar, didn't you say earlier that Kaze claimed to have four of the wolves in her soul? Yeah, she told me some weird voice from the sky told her that four of the wolves that trapped in her soul will emerge and then they'll team up to rescue me and Kaze's mom. So it's true! You and Kaze's mom is still alive! Well, that's amazing! We gotta go find Arashi, get her to make amends with Kaze, free the other three wolves, and then go rescue Star! Mrs. Wolf? I... I want 
to believe it. I really do. I just... I don't want to get my hopes up. Maybe it's true, or maybe Kaze's pulling my leg. Maybe she's lost it. But I'd rather be skeptical than get an amazing surprise than get my hopes up only to have them crushed. But whether it's true or not, we have to find out what the frick is going on with Kaze! I'll be right home. Bye. Uh, Cindy? My aunt just called. A uh, back at home. Really? Oh, I wish I could come with you, but I should probably go home now before Mom gets even more upset with me. I'm sorry. I'll see you later, Sky. It's alright. I'll let you know what happens later. See ya, Cindy! Hey, Sky. Hey, Luna. What happened with Arashi? She came bursting in, demanding that Kaze's feigning innocence, and I tried to reason with her, but she went and locked herself in Kaze's room. <sighs> I'll go talk to her. <laughs> Arashi! I don't know if you really were trapped in Kaze's soul, or if you're just my sister in some new edgelord face, but I want answers! Go away, Skylar! I'm busy! <sighs> ah, here's what I'm looking for. Alright, that's everything. What you doing, sis? <laughs> Kylie! Don't do that! <laughs> You're such a flusterball, Kai! Jeez, Kylie! If you must know, I'm taking all of Kaze's presents somewhere else. I, I don't trust myself with them. I'm gonna lose them, or destroy them, or accidentally let Kaze find them, or, or, or lose them, or... But you seem so confident in yourself before, Kai, what well, suddenly changed? I just have a bad feeling about that phone call Cindy got earlier. I, I need to hide her present somewhere better. I I'll be back soon. Uh, I wanted to go. Arashi! What are you doing with Dad's laptop? I knew I should have locked that window! And what I'm doing with your Dad's laptop is none of your beeswax. I'm done here anyway. So long, Skylar. Hey! Get back here and tell me what the hell's going on! A lot of presents you got for your little cousin. Such a tall stack of presents. Too bad they were struck by lightning. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Those weren't just your presents for her, that's right. They were Cindy's and Cars and Mel's, too. Weren't they, Kaiwu? <laughs> on my way to your house, but you made it so much easier for me. I could have done it anyway. I know where your house is, since I see everything Kaze sees, you know, because of the whole being trapped in her soul for almost 15 years thing. <laughs> but you brought them right to me. Now how, how do, do I get, get out, out of here? here? 
Well, Arashi somehow broke free. I think it was because she reactivated her powers right when the lightning bolt hit you. So I guess we gotta shut down and wait for a huge gust of wind or a blizzard or something? Powers? Your lightning immunity was really Arashi's lightning immunity. Aww. Don't worry, Kazumi, we all have superpowers. We just gotta break free before we can use them independently. Otherwise, whoever's in control can make use of all of our powers. Alright then, let's all break free. Now I want snuggling with you by the warm toasty fireplace! <sighs> What's wrong, Carl? Are you okay? No, I, I can't stop thinking about how I ditched Arashi earlier. I, I feel so guilty about it. I, I mean, I know I said I would help later, but now I feel like I should have helped right then and there. Aw, oh, it's all right, sweetie. I'm sure Shindy, Kaiwu, and Skyward will help. Still, I feel selfish and cowardly. Oh, I shouldn't let my fear of thunderstorms stop me from helping the ones I care about. Kaze is trapped within Arashi, and Arashi wanted us to save her friend Ame, and I didn't help any of them. I'm terrible. Why did you come with me, Mel? Do I deserve your comfort after my selfish actions? Of course you do, Kai. Are you with me forever, okay, Kai? Um. We can go help right now, okay? <laughs> no, Carl, it's bedtime! <laughs> well, we'll go help in the morning. <laughs> and then Luna called me to come back home. So, yeah, I haven't been able to find her since she jumped out the window. Hey, Sky. Yeah, Cindy? Do you know what she was doing with your dad's laptop? No. By the time I even saw her using it, she had already shut it down. But Dad only really uses it for work and emails, and there's no internet browser, so I'm not really sure what was so interesting to her. Oh jeez! What? You know why? Yeah, I have a hunch. I'm gonna go now! Good night, Skylar! Okay. <sighs> What's, What's going, going on? on? Cindy, Cindy seems to know, to know something, something I don't. I don't. Is, Is everything, everything okay? okay? How can, How can I, I sleep knowing there's, there's something seriously wrong, wrong here? here? Is, is my, my sister, sister okay? okay? Is, is Arashi really a separate entity? entity? I have no idea what's going on. Um, Cindy seems to know what she's doing. I'm sure she'll take care of it. <laughs> Kai will? Oh, hey. What's wrong? I, 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 I messed up. I, I was taking them somewhere safer, and, 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 and she, uh, Arashi. It's not your fault, Kairu. You were trying to help, but what Arashi did is not your fault, okay, Kairu? <laughs> you guys just see it that way because you're super nice. <laughs> Imagine what Cindy will say when she finds out. And Kaze, she'll, she'll hate me. Kairu, there you are! I've been knocking on your door all night, but nobody answered! Well, except a gruff voice screaming at me to go away. Oh, um... <laughs> D did you encounter Arashi last night? How did you know?! He must be psychic! Yes, I did! She destroyed them all! Everything we got for Kaze is gone! It's my fault! I teleported out here to take the presents somewhere safe, but she destroyed them! Arashi destroyed them! It happened so fast, I barely registered what was happening! <laughs> What? Skyla! Arashi destroyed Kaze's birthday presents? Yes. Well, this confirms it. It can't be a prank. Kaze would never take it that far. Which means Arashi really is a separate entity! I've gotta find Arashi and let her have it! Whoa! There's no need to get aggressive! Yeah, we can just replace the presents we bought for her! And let those be destroyed too? Look, I may not believe in February 29, but I believe that if Kaze wants to have a birthday party, then she should have a freaking birthday party! She was really excited to celebrate this year! She'll be crushed if she finds out her presents were destroyed, so nobody tell her, got it? You guys go buy more presents while I find this edgelord punk and give her a piece of my mind! No, Skylar White! You'll only make it worse! Give him hell, Skylar! Whoa! I gotta watch this! No, wait, no, I gotta stop this! What? No, she deserves it! Hey, Arashi. Why'd you destroy my sister's presents like that? 
I'm sorry. You'll have to speak up. Why did you destroy them? Because I know that it'll crush her spirit, just like she crushed mine, or more like trapped, along with my three friends. Arashi, for the last time, Kaze had no idea you guys were trapped in there. Even if that was the case, why didn't she do something about it once that voice told her? She wasn't sure whether it was true or not. Was she really unsure, or was she just acting that way once she knew we were there listening? And why didn't she try to find answers? I don't know! <clears throat> I could easily take all of you out with my lightning powers right now. <laughs> What's wrong? Can't handle a little wind? Skylar, can't you see she's hurting? What she did was wrong, but try to understand where she's coming from! She was trapped for almost 15 years and has no idea why! Of course she's mad at the world! And her friends are still trapped! <laughs> Alright, everyone grab on. Hi! Your vision has begun. I'm... I'm free. I look terrible. Arashi! Are you alright? She's breathing. She'll be fine. Just passed out from the force of all of us escaping at once. Oh. We're sorry, Arashi. Did I escape? Ah! Where are my clothes? Arashi, give those back! You owe us big time, Kaze. I think letting a Rashi keep your outfit is a good start. Besides, this raincoat looks better on a Rashi than it ever did on you. Hmm. Here, Kaze. You you can borrow my jacket. Thank you, Kairu. Kaze, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I no idea what happened. A uh, Rashi didn't do anything bad while controlling me, did she? Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, don't worry, Kaz. Everything's okay. Light blue does not suit me. Oh, sure, of course. Let's all go to my house and we'll find something for all of you. Alright, Arashi should be conscious soon. Um, Kazi, you don't mind that she's in your bed, do you? Of course not. By the way, Dad and Luna said it's okay for you guys to live with us. Oh, thank heavens. I was worried I'd have no way to live. Now we wouldn't do that to you. Luna's super chill and always willing to help. And Dad may seem awkward and standoffish, but he's a nice guy too. Sure, Ami, you can use the last little bit of my fur dye. And just warning you though, this brand only lasts for about a day. It'll do for now. I'll buy more tomorrow. I just cannot be seen with this atrocious light-colored fur. Wow, not even a thank you. I'm sorry for bringing two lords into your house. What? Yuki, it's not your fault. I look adorable! <laughs> Kaze, can I keep this outfit? Please, please, can I? Yeah, Kaze, can Taya please keep this adorable outfit? Um, sure, go ahead. Oh gosh, I've never been in her house before. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm such a clutch, oh my god! No, 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 it's alright, really, I'm fine, are, are you okay? Physically, yes, except my heart is pounding! I could have knocked you into that photograph! It's really okay, Kairu. It, it would only break the frame, not, not the picture itself. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, uh, uh, who is that, anyway? That's my mom, Star Wolf. Oh no, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. It's alright, Kai. I don't mind talking about it. Skylo doesn't like talking about it, though. But I think he's starting to believe in her return. So I guess whatever voice Kaze heard was right. At least about the four wolves escaping her soul. Maybe the part about mom being alive is true too. I want it to be. I swear, if that voice lied to us, YOU HEARD IT TOO! What? No. As far as I know, only Luna and Kaze have heard it. M maybe the other Sky Wolves, but not me. Me neither. Guys, just because you aren't connected by the stars doesn't mean you aren't connected through your hearts. Connected by the stars? 
What does that mean? I would never doubt her love. I just wish she would stop parroting that quote all the time. It doesn't make any sense to me, and it sounds more meaningful coming from her anyway. I was just trying to reassure you. Listen, Spade, I know you're cynical, but she would never let you down. She's still in love with you. She always has been. I'm sorry, Luna. I'm just losing hope. I don't know where these other wolves came from, but I seriously doubt they came from within Kaze's soul. Maybe they want to help, but it's most likely pointless. I'm sure Star loves me, but there's no way she's still alive. Star? Don't listen to him, Sky. I promise she'll be back. Hey, Sky, how are you feeling? I'm still not sure what to believe, but I want to help. If Mom really is still alive, then I'd rather save her than not. And if she isn't, well, at least we get to go on an epic adventure that would result in failure <laughs> and disappointment. But wouldn't you be sad if you failed? Well, at least he would be happy he tried. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. We want to help too, Skylar. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna go get acquainted with Yuki and Tayo now. We'll talk to you later, Sky. <sighs> I can tell you're struggling. If you want someone to talk to, just call me. <laughs> Finally, I actually look edgy and cool instead of lame and stupid. Ame? Arashi, are you alright? Ame, you look almost as edgy as me. We are equally edgy, thank you very much. Who was the first one to break free? <sighs> Did anyone tell Kaze what I did yet? No. Apparently they've all made a vow to keep it a secret. But if they think I'm keeping that promise, keep it. Huh? Keep quiet about it until her birthday party arrives and just let her find out for herself. I'd rather see her get her hopes up, only to have them crushed. <laughs> we